Hi everybody, I am Lena from Infected Rain and you are watching Talking Records. People often are asking you about the Moldovan music scene, so out of, out of curiosity I, I did a little bit of research to see what are the most popular bands from, uh, from Moldova and I think that beside Infected Rain there is also a legendary Eurodance band Ozone. Well, they don't exist anymore. Yeah. Um, they, yeah, they were very popular back in the days. I think still these days um, some of the people know their songs and they play yeah. around. But um, yeah, they don't exist anymore. Um, they split for other little projects. Um, but yeah, they were big. Um, we have other bands that um, came very far and they are still around. Um, uh, we have a band called Zdob Shizdu. Very awesome guys and um, Super amazing musicians. Very funky music. Funky music, yes. Interesting music. Uh, very um, mm, uh, positive music, I would call it. Um, they also travel and they go, um, you know, outside Moldova, which is good. Not many bands uh, get to play outside Moldova, unfortunately. Um, nowadays, a little bit more than before because we used to need visa to go everywhere. Literally, the only countries that we didn't need needed visa were like too far. Uh, it was Ukraine, Russia, um, and that's it, you know, and all that, Eastern Europe. But, um, yeah, we used to need visas for everywhere. When we just started, uh, we had our passports full, the pages full with visas. And it's not very easy to get a visa. Yeah. So that's the main reason why the bands didn't really made it so far. I guess we were just too insistent. <laughs> but, yeah, we have a lot of... Uh, bands and good musicians and amazing uh, and talented musicians, I would say. Watching interviews with you, I have noticed that you always emanate with a very good energy, with uh, appreciation to your fans and to what you do. Yes, of course. Well, because I understand that only, you know, I, I will, I guess I can tell you um, if um, for everybody who doesn't know, we are an independent band. And especially for an independent band, everything is in the hands of your fans. You survive because of your fans. When you are sign a signed band, it works the same, but not as much because somebody else helps you evolve. Somebody else helps you um, be promoted and you know know people and be in good places and you know which is amazing. And um, but when you are independent, it's just let's say it's a slower path, but it's still a path that goes up. To your goal you know and um, of course I'm thankful of course I appreciate everybody even people that do don't have the opportunity yet to come to our shows and support uh, by being there we have so many people that help um, online with uh, sharing and commenting and um, you know diffuse our music everywhere and um, that helps a lot and every little Thing helps. It's like they are little infected rain street army. Yeah, we call it family. We call it uh, infected family. 
and um, it is like a family for sure because especially lately we came to know some of our very good fans uh, personally and they are amazing people and we became friends so you know some of them are even here today at the show people from different countries they follow us everywhere they help they promote they mm, everything you know so of course I'm thankful. Yeah, some, of, some of the fans are pretty amazing, they even go as far to make a tattoo of, of your face yes. on their body, so this is like an ultimate devotion to, to a Yes, it is. And trust me, I know about that because me, myself, I have some uh, portraits of um, musicians and I know what it means to me. And when I see somebody else doing that, it is such a huge honor for me. Since we speak about tattoos, you have uh, Powerpuff Girl, uh, Super Mario, and yeah. uh, Star Wars yeah. related tattoos. This is about nostalgia. Um, kind of. I like the way you put it. It's um, a little bit of both. Uh, all my tattoos, in a way, represents me, the way I am, and like the inner child in me. Um, Powerpuff Girls uh, was a cartoon or a series. I don't know how to call it correctly that I used to watch with my sisters when we were small. We were pretending to be Powerpuff Girls and save the day from bad guys, you know? And I remember that time with a smile on my face. And we did every, um, me and my sisters did that tattoo, so it's like a matching tattoo with my sisters. Uh, you know, Super Mario was the one and only video game I ever played. I, um, I was very, 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 very in love with that game. Um, never played another game anymore. Okay. I love watching people playing games, but I'm not big at games. Love watching people playing games. Only the old Super Mario 2? Yes, the, the Mario, Super Mario 2, I guess, the Mario Brothers. And yeah, and I can go on and on like this about every tattoo I have. It's really, you know, all of them mean something to me. And I know some of them look funny and they are cartoony, but still. The band is now 10 years old, right? Correct. So uh, how different is Selena from uh, 2008 until now? What did you learn about yourself during these 10 years of your musical journey? Well, I learned a lot. I'm still learning. There are things that I notice about myself that I try to work on till these days. Uh, first of all, it is the um, uh, relationship with people. Um, because sometimes we take for, for granted some of the things and sometimes what we do in our head has one meaning but when we do it people around gets it different so we have to always consider people around us especially when you tour and you spend 24 hours together so it's um, it's uh, tricky some of the bands actually break up because of that they start um, uh, having big uh, issues between them and we did have issues before but we learned all of us we grew up almost together. It's been 10 years and it's the most beautiful part of your life. It's, you know, when you're early 20s and until now, you know, it, it's about learning. It's about learning about people. It's about being aware of people. And also it's about gratitude. I was always very thankful for people in general. Um, I grew up in a... Um, difficult family situation and uh, in a poor family so I was always um, seeking attention from other people uh, involuntary uh, since I was a kid and uh, I guess that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with the stage so much because I, I get to have so much attention and I give so much I need to give I'm a giver and um, you know my friends and my family can tell you I'm a giver I have a uh, um, I don't know, this need to share and give to people I like or I love. So this, that's, uh, the stage gives me both. And it's like um, my own kind of ter therapy too. So I found out in these 10 days that Infected Rain, with all its ups and downs, with the live shows or just recording in the studio or rehearsing in a rehearsing room, is my therapy is like my own psychiatrist, <laughs> you know? Because I get to say out loud what I feel um, and I get to write it down and then scream it out loud. And I, and I have so much feedback from our fans 
And yes, I learned that for now. I mean, I, I still have some few things that I want to try to work on and, you know, it's, it's, it's a journey for sure. <laughs> I really love the line from lyrics to mold. Uh, you don't move to change a thing, to busy criticizing, hating everyone, you forgot to become someone. Exactly. This is a very nice way to describe a uh, hater, like uh, in exactly. the comments or everything, that they are so caught up in hating and being negative that they really don't achieve anything. Yes, like everybody else, we have haters. But you know what? We learn from our haters. And because of our haters, we become stronger. You know, and yeah, from the very beginning with the f first music video for the song Judgmental Trap, we had so much negativity and because it was our first single and our first creation together, I took it so close to my heart in the beginning. I was like, oh my God, maybe I'm not doing it correctly. I was never a musician before. I was never in a band before. So I was learning every day, but then I, was thinking about that and I was thinking about the bands I like and I was taking example from other bands I like and I'm, because they are who they are and they're very unique and even if you know you're not perfect and you don't sing like an opera singer or you don't sing like a I don't know Metallica or you don't sing like Chris Cornell I, I don't know I don't know now I'm just putting it there right it doesn't mean that you won't have people that will like the way you sing. So, of course, I did um, uh, improvements. I went to school and I still go, try to be better, but haters are always there. And mainly, unfortunately, um, this um, um, time of our life is a little bit sad because there, there are so many people living in their apartments or in their homes without going out at all and literally 24 hours a day they sit on their couch only being online or watching something or playing games or there are even people that work at home because now it's possible you can shop at home you can you know everybody is going to bring you food you can order the food you don't have to go out but let's be honest you don't have to go out but because people forget to go out and forget to connect to other people and they forget about their own goals and dreams, they become mold. We dedicated Orphan Soul to people who struggle with uh, traumas of the past. Uh, does it happen often that, uh, that uh, fans come to you after the shows to share their personal stories that they were somehow yes. related to these lyrics? Yes, I have that a lot. Uh, not so often after the show because Usually it's pretty public and uh, not many people are ready to talk in public but I receive a lot of um, emails and messages about that and as I said in the um, uh, making of, of that um, music video um, I am one of them you know I had issues with my family when I was a kid that um, gave me nightmares and issues after in my life you know and I learn from them instead of just blaming my issues for who I am. I learned from them and I try to be a better person or I try to focus on my future more than I focus on my past. So basically that's the message and um, yes I know 90% of families on the planet are damaged. 90%. It's sad but it is what it is and some go through more difficult times, some through less difficult times. It's just, it's also, it depends how powerful we are or our mind because some people don't make it and they just, you know, they give up and they are in depression all life. Other people are stronger and they learn from that. So I want everybody to be strong and learn from their past because they can, you can't change your past, but you can learn from it.
Okay. So the last question that I always like to ask is, uh, what is your musical guilty pleasure? Something that your fans may be surprised that you like to listen to? And is it Ozone? <laughs> no, I think uh, the most surprising that I ever said that I like was Lady Gaga. Okay. I have a big admiration for that woman. Uh, I think we are pretty much the same age at two, so I feel very close to her for some reason, from, for years now. Um, I don't particularly love all her songs, but I love her as a person. She is so talented and she was so brave to do so many things with her looks, with her music. She writes her songs and she sings them. She is an amazing vocalist and a great songwriter. And I think that's the, that is the, um, the one that shocks people usually. I really like her. That's what makes us artists, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I got emotional. <laughs> so yeah, that, I mean, why not? We are there. And it doesn't matter how you feel if you're in pain, physical pain or mental pain. You are there on a stage and people expect something from you. And I feel like she's giving it all. Yes, it's a completely different genre. And as I said, I am not in love with all her songs, but some of them are amazing. Just so amazing. Thank you for watching my interview with wonderful Lena from Infected Rain. Next to my head you can find more interviews and reviews on my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you next time.